Kama AI recently announced their latest iteration of hardware, the Kama 3. And I've had my hands on several pre-production versions leading up to release and have been testing it out for several months now. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, what makes this device so special? Especially at the $21.99 price for entry. I'm going to give an overview of the Kama 3 that hopefully can answer some questions people are having about this new device. So let's get into it. Kama has developed this hardware entirely in-house. It's not some smartphone in a 3D printed case. The Kama 3 has been designed from the ground up to be driver assistance hardware that matches even the leading automotive systems. The three cameras on this device are current generation imaging sensors designed specifically for autonomous driving applications. You'll find these same sensors in the newest OEM ADAS systems coming to market today. They will allow OpenPilot to see better in all lighting conditions with improved dynamic range and resolve more detail through better lenses. The forward-facing camera pair consists of one narrow field lens to capture detail further down the road and one 185 degree wide angle for better seeing things like stoplights, stop signs, and vehicles alongside you that could potentially cut in. The driver-facing camera is now centered on the device and also wide angle to complete a 360 degree view. Driver monitoring will now work in any vehicle in any country and it can even see cars in your blind spots through the windows. Infrared LEDs are still present for nighttime hands-free driving as well. The new touchscreen is high definition and OLED and it's a big upgrade from the Kama 2. From my testing it's easy to see with or without sunglasses as it's polarized at a 45 degree angle. Inside the sleek new injection molded case sits a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset and a Samsung 250 gig SSD or an optional one terabyte SSD if you want the extra storage space. It has LTE, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and high precision GPS. It's all there integrated into a custom main board engineered by Kama specifically for this device. It all connects via the same OBDC connection you'd be familiar with with the Kama 2 and uses the existing car harness so no changes there. The Kama 3 does have a new mount that comes in the box, so be sure to swap that out if you're upgrading. The last thing is a USB-C expansion port that can be used in the future for additional hardware, like the new CanFD Red Panda. Software-wise, it's running the same open source version of OpenPilot available on GitHub, but with a new Ubuntu-based operating system called Agnos. The biggest new addition is the navigation feature that will be exclusive to the Kama 3 for Kama Prime members as you'll need LTE connection to pull data for maps and routing. Overall, the Kama 3 looks like a powerful new dev kit that will take OpenPilot to the next level. And so far, I've been impressed with how far Kama have gone to future-proof this device and expand the potential capabilities. Next video, I'll dive into the Kama 3 and exactly how it compares to the Kama 2, so subscribe to make sure you see that video when it's out. As always, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.